what a man just oh, what a man he, uh, I, I don't know if it's Dutch footballers in general but I had a huge crush on Cody Gakpo last season it's yeah, suddenly yeah. swifting over to Ryan Gravenberg because I think he's so good honestly I think he's so so good I just love watching him play footy um, we spoke about it in the IMR about first 10 minutes of his first Merseyside derby his first start in the Premier League for Liverpool and he's just chipping it over lads and bringing it back down on the other side of him I mean what am I watching here? Like, what's this that, guy man? doing mate what's he doing and it does make you wonder we, we've absolutely robbed Bayern Munich for this lad I'm certain Sharp. of it I'll say it now Sharp. I'll say I mean yeah. we have, we've only seen a handful of games now and as I mentioned this is his first Premier League start but this kid is special proper special and in the right hands which I believe to be Jürgen Klopp we've got like a top world class talent and I think we all knew that at Ajax which is why Bayern Munich wanted him which is why Liverpool wanted him but I think under Klopp now nurturing him I think we're going to see him go from strength to strength because for the first half an hour for me today in the Merseyside derby he was the best player on the pitch yeah. literally the best player on the pitch and people couldn't get near him his touches his turns he wins the, he's the one who gets Tarkovsky book do you yeah. mind saying because yeah. he leaves him for dead Amazing. I mean he's got so so much of his game and I mentioned earlier on about his defensive attributes and he's working back and doing that stuff really well as well so even he you might talk about Sir Bosley and his work rate and the discipline even Gravenberg is showing that too so a joy to watch I think he's going to just again get better and better in Liverpool sure I think we are just scratching the surface with him mm-hmm. and what he's capable of a couple of moments of frustration today for me don't want the back post because he gambled on that two weeks ago at Brighton sure, yeah, yeah, and he yeah. doesn't score today for whatever reason he didn't gamble and you think oh just go on mate go again yeah, but he yeah. didn't but yeah mate I'm so pleased with him Evel I- I'll bring you on it and you, you think class no I know I, everything you said I, I agree with you know what it's nice and it's again it's, it's a sign of the times more than anything else because we was crying out for the midfield and it will be the big talking point for the majority of the season yeah. and, you know because it's stark contrast from last year but it's nice watching lads on the up again because for the probably the best part of 18 months we was at the top with the lads that we had and they was at the top and then after that point everything was slow and understand like age factor what the, the amount of footy, achieve, basically the amount of footy, <laughs> yeah. everything yeah. it made sense why there was the decline obviously we didn't want for being it was the kind to be so rapid in, in any way shape or form but it made sense that there was that little bit of decline he just like, fell off a cliff didn't he yeah but you just knew you'd seen the best those lads that have given you so much give you so many good memories we've seen the best of them now and yeah they might put in good performances here and there every now and again and, and we might kind of have a, a bit of a renaissance for a, a couple of months or whatever it might be but knowing now that we are safely in 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 this new midfield setup where we are as you said scratching the surface and we're at a point now where you're looking and thinking the best days of these lads together are yet to come mm. but we're getting results now when it matters as well Fussy yeah. again matters it means something every game three points on the board chipping away keeping with the chasing pack pulling away from the pack whatever it might be it matters right yeah. now and seeing these lads coming into their own that for me is probably the most exciting thing about this front three it's because it's like the sky's the limit for you yeah we you know we talked about having the best four with three in world footy for a, you know a good two three seasons in a year or two years time we could be sitting there having our conversation thinking we've got the best midfield you know forget your Chumamenis forget your Camavingas forget the lad who shall not be named <laughs> you know what I mean? like forget all of that we, we've got the real deal forget the KDBs all of that and it's not here today but what they are doing today is still as important because they're getting results when it matters and, and I, I just I'm just excited by it mate the more the more I'm seeing it the more you say the likes we got Jones to add in yeah. we know that we still want someone to be the dedicated six when we're going to have those options all fit firing and as I touch with again I hope that this part of our, our team gets a good birth of fitness as well so they're not really hamstrung by not the availability issues mate yeah. they're just going to be different yeah, gravy into that. And, yeah they're well, going to be different it, gravy it's mate, interesting because God. you said it there when we get our dedicated six who I believe could be Andre in January um, that frees up McAllister yeah, yeah, do what he's best at then you know what I mean you might still see him in a six every now and then but he could be an eight then the competition becomes even more fierce exactly, well, exactly that even more fierce exactly it's like that. if you're not on job if you're not pushing yourself and now you haven't got a choice to just be at a canter 
you have to put yeah. your foot down because the next guy will. Yeah, and, exactly. And that's that's what's really. And, we, and we've seen that from Graham Burge today, in essence, because he's seen the Curtis Jones suspension as, oh, and lucky mate, what will I do now? Yeah, like yeah, this yeah. is my chance. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're not getting the shirt back. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is me, and I feel sorry for you. A bit of a harsh red, but uh, them's the breaks. You know what yeah, I mean? Watch yeah, me go. Absolutely. Uh, and we yeah, have boss performance again. I'm so so impressed with him. Uh, I'll give him an eight um, for what he did today. And Graham Burge thought he was brilliant, Sorry. certainly for half an hour.